everyone. Today I am teaming up with Bydeem to talk to you about their electric steamer and show you how to make two delicious recipes in it. Before we get started, let's talk about the steamer. So it is a two tier steamer. It's an electric steamer. It comes with this plate to steam vegetables on. So that's the top tier. And then you have this other tier down here, which is great. It also comes with these stew pots, which are great for slow cooking, which you could do in here. And you can also make yogurt in here. So it's very easy to use. It tells you when to add water. It has a few simple dials and that's it. To start off, we're going to make some zucchini ravioli. So we're going to first take two zucchini that I cut the end off and use a vegetable peeler to make zucchini ribbons. You will need four zucchini ribbons per zucchini ravioli. So I decided that I want 10 of them. So I'm just going to make 40 zucchini ribbons and you could take it from all sides of the zucchini. But once you get into the part where there's a lot of seeds, then you should stop. So they'll look like this and I just divided them up into piles of four so they're ready to go. Now we're gonna work on the filling. So I'm taking about half a block of firm tofu and I'm just going to crumble it up with my hands and just get it into nice crumbly pieces. And then we're gonna add in some seasonings. The full recipe is in the description box with all the ingredients, so check that out. Then use the back of a fork to mash it up until it is kind of in a paste. It'll look something like this. This is some textured vegetable protein and it is dehydrated, so we need to add in some hot water to rehydrate it, set that aside for a few minutes. And then once it is nice and rehydrated, we will add it in to the tofu regatta that we made to make a really nice filling to add into our little ravioli and this filling is super delicious and so easy to make. So now we're gonna make our little zucchini ravioli. So take two strips and lay them down and then take two strips and lay them over it. Add a nice spoonful into the middle of the zucchini and then just start folding up the sides. I like to alternate and fold one side up then the other. So that way it's really sealed up nicely and these are so easy to make and that's all you have to do they look so cute and now you're just going to continue on and make the rest of them and like i said i wanted to make 10 so i had 40 zucchini strips they're all done they look like this we're going to set them to the side for a second for our second recipe we're going to make a steamed chocolate cake so we're adding all-purpose flour powdered sugar cocoa powder and coffee instant coffee into a little bowl add some oil some non-dairy milk and vegan sour cream and just give this a nice whisk up until everything is coming together and then just to help that instant coffee break down and get this batter a little smoother we're going to add in some hot water and just whisk that up until it looks luscious and delicious and looks so good don't you just want to just eat that okay so then we're going to spray a little ramekin with some cooking spray and then we're going to plop that in there and spread it evenly amongst two little ramekins cover them with foil and then we're going to take that vegetable dish that came with the steamer and we're going to add some tomato sauce on the bottom and we're gonna spread that out. And then we're going to take our little zucchini pockets and we're going to place them on there. And this fit all 10 perfectly. Add some extra tomato sauce on top. And then we're gonna add some vegan mozzarella. Now we are going to add in our water to the max line in the bottom of the steamer. I also really like that it shows you on the outside where the line of the water is as well. Then we're gonna pop the ravioli on the bottom of the steamer. Then we're gonna add that second steamer basket. And then we're gonna put the chocolate cake on top and we're going to add the top to the steamer right on there. We're gonna set this to steam for 30 minutes and we're just gonna let it cook on its own and do what it needs to. You'll see the steam starts to build up instantly in about a minute and then you'll see it come out the back and just be careful, don't touch, you know, it's very hot. Once it's all done, it tells you and you're just ready to go. Carefully lift the top off and then you can reveal all your beautiful cooked ravioli and cake and I love how good these look. The vegan cheese melts so nicely with the steam and this cake comes out so moist and perfect. It's absolutely delicious. Both of these are so good and I just did a little test to make sure that my knife comes out clean for the cake. Top it with some powdered sugar and a little piece of mint. Add some basil to the ravioli and you're all done. That cake is so fluffy and delicious and those ravioli are so beautiful and that vegan cheese is melted perfectly. So all the links to check out by Dean will be in the description box down below. It's a really awesome little appliance and I think you all will really enjoy it. And thank you to Bydeem for sponsoring this video.